All right, so this problem says the rational function f is defined by the equation in the form f of x equals a over x plus b, where a and b are constants. The partial graph of y equals f of x is shown. If g of x equals f of x plus 4, which equation could define the function g? All right, so first off, what we need to do is actually determine what those constants are, right? Because we can't be throwing in random numbers. That's the entire reason they gave us this partial graph, is so we can identify the coordinate points and actually find a and b. So there are just a couple points that we want to use. This is definitely not a linear graph, so we don't want to use, you know, points like whatever that is, right? You can't really estimate what that value is. But there are some concrete points where you got negative 7, negative 2 clearly right here. We've also got right here negative 6, negative 3. And let's use another point here. This one's good, negative 5 to negative 6. All right, so we got our three coordinate points. And what you're going to want to do now is use a regression, all right? And you're going to do a regression using Desmos, as you can see below, where you basically insert a table with those coordinate points and then set your regression y1 to whatever we had up here right so we had the a over x plus b and so we're just doing the same thing here because we called x x of one we will have to identify as x of one here as well so we can see desmos does the work for us we got a equals six b equals four and therefore we know our equation now is f of x equals six over x plus four all right, so that's cool. We know what f of x is, but now we need to identify what g of x is, right? g of x is f of x plus 4. This plus 4 right here is uh, basically a transformation of the function to the left, right? So if we're looking at our f of x function, how do we transform this function to the left for units? Well, pretty simple here, but we can just do is 6 over x plus 8 right because you have to remember that something like x plus 2 would be a shift to the left something like x minus 2 would be a shift to the right and therefore our final answer here is 6 over x plus 8 and therefore c is our answer do check out our other sat math videos for more prep and good luck on your sat